Hello, hello again friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here and welcome back to the Elite Dangerous 1.5 beta server. Now if you do enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to hit those like and subscribe buttons because they really do help my channel out. But anyway, what we are going to be having a look at is uh, the new type of shields that are being introduced into 1.5. And uh, these shields are the Biweave shields. So let's go and have a quick look at the stats of them in the outfitting department. So let's go into the internals, go down to the shield generators. So let's go to buy and equip. And let's compare them with their standard counterparts. Now, Biweave shields only come in one uh, rating. They only ever come in class C, in rating C even. So you can have uh, 2C, 3C, 4C, 5C, 6C, 17C, 8C. But you can't have like an, a 4A. Uh, it's only normal shields and prismatic shields which come in those range. Actually, no, even prismatic shields don't come in uh, all range. Prismatics only come in uh, A rating. So biweave shields only come in C rating, but they come in all the classes. Now... One of the things we can tell from here is that the bioweave shields uh, generally don't use as much power as their standard A-rated uh, equivalents. So they're not using as much power. So that's good. It means that ships like the Vulture and uh, other similar ships that have power limiting issues can use these shields and get a little bit more uh, juice out of the... Uh, reactor, so to speak. But what is the trade-off for this? Well, let's first of all have a look at the recharge rate of these shields. Uh, on the left we have the standard A, center is the bi-weave, and on the right we have a standard C4, just for completionist's sake. But as you can see, in the center the bi-weave is actually recharging at least twice as fast as the uh, the standard A1. You can see it's recharging so fast, it's actually pulling so much power out of the uh, the system's capacitor. And did you hear the sound of when the uh, shield actually got, uh, well, well, when it reformed? It does sound very different. And now it is still regening as well. And there we go, we have full shields on the C4 Biweave. So that is awesome. So what that pretty much means is that the, uh, the Biweave shields recharge 50% faster. Uh, the shields don't just uh, recharge and come back up 50% uh, faster, they also uh, regenerate their strength faster. 50% uh, faster than the equivalent A-rated standard shield. Uh, we just put the C-rated shield in there just for completionist's sake, like I said, so you can see how it reacted in relation to that. Uh, how does the strength of the shield work out? Well, it turns out that the uh, the shields are the equivalent of a D-rated shield of the equivalent class. So a... C4 shield, uh, bi-weave shield generator will be the same shield strength as a D4 standard shield. So equivalently, you're losing about 20% of your shield strength, uh, equivalent to the standard A rated shield. But what you lose in shield strength, you more than make up for in uh, recharge time and uh, regen time. So it you basically do get more out of it because it means that you don't have to sit outside of a fight for any uh, for that long. You're spending half the time sitting around waiting for your shields to come back up. Now these will be especially interesting on smuggling vessels that like to use silent running because that means that your shields will come up a lot faster as well as as well as on many other types of ships as well. But anyway, let's go and have a look at the pretty much the practical demonstration of the shield strength and uh, any visual differences. Now bear in mind the target that we're going to be firing at only has two pips into systems. I don't know if you noticed that, 
but you should notice it pretty soon. There you go, that's it. The uh, the biweave shields are actually purple. <laughs> I really was not expecting this. But as you can see, the shields do go down uh, a lot faster. The biweave shields have about 100 megajoules uh, shield strength, whereas the standard A4s have 124 megajoules of shield strength. So, like I said, you're losing about 20%, but you do regen 50% uh, 50 faster. So, I do think it's a very good trade-off. Now, does this mean that people are going to be using nothing but bi-weaves? Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I do think that standard shields and prismatic shields as well have their place. Um, I do think that trading vessels might do better with standard shields because 9 times out of 10 they're just going to be running away and you're going to want to be able to uh, to pretty much tank out as many hits as you can as you're trying to run away. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think? Do you think that the uh, bi-weave shields are the way forward or are you going to be sticking with your prismatics or your standard shields? As always, let me know in the comments and we will see how it goes. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if so, please don't hesitate to hit those like and subscribe buttons because they really do help my channel out. And anyway, Commanders, until next time, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf. You've been epic. I will see you soon. And until then, keep flying and stay shiny.